still one chip. Go back into here. Now we just need to take the accumulator. So this is going to take the accumulator and it's going to output the reset. So we're going to take the accumulator and we're going to say, is the accumulator greater than 75? And then we can put, this is all if then statements. So if accumulator is greater than 75, then um, reset is equal to 1 at semicolon. You can also, then you just go down here and you can do the same thing is less than 0. But what I like to do, because it's easier, is you go up here you put, and then make sure it's a space, then you hold shift and dash, which is the one right above enter, and it makes a straight line. It's like two little dashes when you hold shift and press it, but it becomes a straight line. And then you can go, that's the or symbol. So if accumulator is greater than 75 or it is less than zero, then reset shall equal one. And now it doesn't know to reset zero back to one, uh, put reset to zero if it's within here. So we also have to write an equation saying if it's within here, make it zero. Otherwise, it'll just keep resetting the second it leaves these parameters. So it's going to be the same thing except for if it's accumulator is greater or equal to. I just like using greater or equal to. It just helps better. Greater or equal to. It's just the greater sign and the equal sign after it. That's it. 70, uh, 0. Yeah, that's right. And you need an and symbol. You can't do or. You have to do an and symbol. That, that means so it's in between because otherwise it would all cancel and be confusing and screw everything to hell and it's never fun. Or less than equal to 75. And then reset is equal to zero. Cool. All right, there we go. We have our accumulator now. So go ahead and uh, press enter, validate, successfully validated, save it if you want. And now um, it should, oh, we gotta wire the reset. Reset goes to reset. And reset is not resetting. Yay. Now I'm going to show you how to fix an equation. Yay. So, that name's perfect. Uh, let's see. Greater or equal to and less. Accumulator is greater than 75. Or, well, I know why maybe. You have to wire accumulator to accumulator. Yay, there it goes. All right, now we're good. Now it'll reset to stop it so you don't have to wait for it to uh, count back up and so it won't like flip out on you and go too far. So yeah, there you go. And now what we're going to do is we are going to make it, because notice as the last one, because it's dealing with, uh, uh, I'm sorry, it's because it's dealing with uh, objects in an elevation and angles you can't just add 60 if you want to make it look at the head because you notice like everything else we deal with uh, my bad, it um, targets the feet so to make it target the head we have to add an angle to it and so now I introduce trigonometry into your lives and let me tell you it cannot be fun if you are no good at it or have no understanding of it so yeah uh, here we go, this is going to be the trigonometry part. Okay, let's see if we can't add some angles to this thing. Okay, let's go back into the expression chip. Uh, okay, now trigonometry, it's basic, there's a basic equation. Uh, it's, let's get the rope tool out. Yeah, you can see that. Maybe just a little bit better. Alright, so basically, let's say you have a triangle, alright? Now you have the triangle. Now um, there's sine, say this is our angle, all right? Now sine is opposite over hypotenuse, which is hypotenuse is always the longest side. Opposite is always the farthest and adjacent is the one touching it. So you have sine is opposite over this, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is um, opposite over adjacent. And so to find the angle of this, since we don't have a hypotenuse, we're going to use tangent and we're going to uh, 
uh, do opposite divided by adjacent. So to do that, and pretty much that's going to give us the, the height of this, the, the necessary angle to get the height of the, the human model. So go back into wire expression chip, and um, yeah, now we need to input elevation. So just type in elevation if you can spell it. Elevation. It doesn't really matter how to spell it. You can just put L -E or E or something. And now you want to output new elevation. So this is going to be total elevation. So total E L A. Total elev. So yeah. So now we're going to do total elev. I probably could have thought of a shorter name for that. Elevation is equal to. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take the elevation of the thing. Uh, so actually, no, we're going to find the elevation of the person first. So we need parentheses. And, oh, we don't even need, yeah, we do. And you go arc a tan. So this is going to be arc tangent. So a tan. And then parentheses, you want to put, uh, let me put a space here. You want to put 60, which is the height of a person. Remember that. And you divide it by the distance of um, it away from the object. And now... The, because of trigonometry, if you didn't, if I didn't explain it well enough earlier, which I don't blame you for not understanding, because I'm a terrible teacher and math trigonometry is not the easiest subject to understand. Um, so basically, we're finding the angle given two sides of a triangle, and this is the equation. Use it. We're using 60 is going to be the uh, the opposite, and distance is going to be adjacent. Oh yeah, we also need to input a distance too. So. Then, so now we have the height of the person, the necessary angle for to get the height of the person, and now we simply just add elevation to it, and put a little end parentheses. That's because I put a parentheses in front of it, arctan. So let's go ahead and press enter, validate, successfully validated, name it and save it if you want. Now you want to, instead of hooking accumulator up to this. Um, you want to hook it up to this elevation. I never updated it. Got it. So, so A goes straight to total elevation. And now length goes to this, and I should get a headshot. Or not. I can get a crazy... <sighs> Alright, so fire is not firing. That is why. I have to go a wire. I have to I have a new output. No, I don't. I forgot to do something. Alright, so we'll go back to wire expression. And we need a new input of target. We need the new input of target. So I forgot target has to be equal to one. So update that. Oh actually you gotta validate it and update it. Wire the new target output or input to output one. That way when there is a target it will fire and when it is, there it goes. Also reduce the amount of bullets being fired. Uh, bugger. There we go. Now I can work with it a little better. Now I want to show you a little thing, tricks and trips, uh, little things to upgrade it to make it really cool, really 